here we go. Your favorite, we have gliders today. This is hit and strength. So you're gonna need weights, several sets of weights. If you have them, I'm just gonna use my one set. Also two little towels, or if you have the actual gliders, you can use those and a place to slide. If you're just on carpet, no big deal. You can always just step out instead of sliding out. And I will use a mat just for one exercise. That is it, so you don't really need it much. Let's roll those shoulders back. Unless you wanna go push-ups on your knees or something on your knees, then you might need the mat a little more. Let's roll it forward. Here we go, team. Excited for today. Excited to push our bodies. Big shoulder rolls back. Oh my goodness, I, so I, I uh, filmed a uh, push-ups workout uh, two days ago. Roll it forward, 12 more seconds. Going into swimmer arms to touch backs in seven. Woo, my chest, my triceps are so sore. Two, one, open it up for two, touch it back for two. Stay low in those legs, open up for two. Touch it back. Good, good. Definitely feeling that chest stretching out. So I hope you do that push-ups workout. It is coming out soon, so watch for it. 20 different styles of push-ups in 10 minutes, Tabata style. 13 seconds, going into forward lunge for two with a glute lift and back and then walking back. Four. Three, two, lunge it forward. Kick up that back leg. Use your glute to lift up that back leg. Walk it back. So once again, just wanna remind you, if you don't wanna use the towels, that doesn't mean you can't do the workout. You can still join us. You can easily modify. 20 seconds to go, big step forward. Going into a squat to extend a forward fold. In eight. You are here, you are ready. Two, one, big squat down, and then extend up. You can take this fast or slow. It helps if you turn your toes slightly out on the squat to drop your booty down. That's it. Good. Warming up those quads and stretching out your hamstrings. 15 seconds to go. Next up, we are inchworming out, walking our hands out to high plank, walking them back in and rotating up with one hand to the ceiling. In four, three, two, walk those hands out to high plank, just walk them right back in and rotate one hand up. That's it. <laughs> Careful not to slip. I know my floor is slippery. Slipping and sliding over here. Yeah, so initially when COVID happened and I started working out more at home, 20 seconds. And I've always done a lot of workouts with the gliders, like at gyms, like using the circle gliders. Eight seconds. Coming up we have, oops, I forgot. Adductor to lunge. Wide legs, let's drop it down to one side. We're supposed to be doing the inchworms, but no big deal. Skipped an exercise, skipped ahead. Just rotate through side to side. Yeah, so I used to do the gliders a lot in uh, gyms. And so transitioning to use them at home, I bought the, uh, the circle gliders, tried them one time on my floor and was like, nope, 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 nope. They were so scratchy. So that's when I decided to go to towels which is uh, very easy. Everybody has towels laying around. Five seconds, going into a traveling plank to knee drop. Two, 
One, coming into high plank. You can hold it or you can travel with me and then drop, lower those knees. You don't have to bang them to the floor. <laughs> Just drop them a little bit. Engaging those ab muscles as you drop. There you go. Good work. 20 seconds. We're going to work our full bodies today, as always. Five exercises of strength followed by cardio in Tabata style. Three, two, jump or walk your feet in, stand it up, two knees, three toe taps. Switch sides. A little bit of a coordination here. You can always just hold the knees, maybe four on each side. If you don't want to do the little toe tap transition. <laughs> That's it. Looking good. 18 seconds. Going into jacks for two, scissors for four. Seven. <laughs> Three, two. Jacks for two, scissors for four. Get those arms up there. We getting ready to work? You're like, Courtney, I am working already. <laughs> Heart rate's coming up. Final exercise of our warm up. Coming up, we have a side shuffle to two ankle taps. 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Three, two, side shuffle. Two ankle taps, side shuffle. As always, feel free to take the jump out for low impact, just like this, just keep moving. Great work. Feeling that energy coursing through you. Lighting it up. You have 12 seconds. Five, three, two, rest. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Good job, great warm up team. Grab some water, make sure you have weights, two little towels or gliders, a mat if you need it. 30 seconds till we go. All right, first exercise. Keep those towels close, but we will not use them for the first exercise. We just need one weight. Exercise one is a squat down to a knee lift with like a little bit of an oblique lean. And then to the other side. We go in five, you ready? Let's rock it. Two, one, here we go, down. Lift it. You can do this without weight too if you're not quite ready for the lean. Or if you don't wanna do the lean at all, just do the squat. Getting way down in that squat. Low, low. We will be sliding next. Remember, you don't have to slide. You can always step your foot out. I will show you how. 22 seconds. We are going to crush this workout together. I feel it. I feel your energy. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Grab that other weight, grab both towels on both feet because we are alternating sides. Curtsy to bicep curl. 
curtsy down. You can step the curtsy, you can step all of this. Here we go, let's go. That's it. Lots of pressure in your front foot to come back to center. Working that glute. You got it. Looking like a champ already. 30 seconds. Keep going with this combo. Bringing your arms all the way down at the bottom to straight and then curling up, full range of motion. Really press down into that front foot as you come back to center. Thinking about that glute working. Seven. Three, two, rest. Good, keep everything, keep everything. Now we have squat slides. You can step the squat. I'm gonna slide it out for two, and then tricep kickback for two. Two, one, let's go. If you are using sliders like me, the goal is as you bring your foot in, from the squat to press it into the floor, getting a lot of work into your inner thighs. A great way to strengthen those adductors right here. Try not to swing on those triceps. I'm only saying that because I noticed myself swinging. <laughs> so easy to get into the groove of Swinging back, 20 seconds. <sighs> Love it. Oh, I was so chilly this morning. It is pretty cold out for Southern California. Two, one, rest it. Southern California in March. All right, once again, keeping everything. We slide lunge, reverse lunge. Pick up your foot if you'd like into a reverse fly. Then to the other side, here we go. No big deal. If you don't wanna pick up your foot, you can always just bend over to a reverse fly. Picking up the foot just gives a little extra balance action. We will stay on one side for the next round. In case you've never done this workout, it's the same format every week. We do three rounds and then we have our finishers, including abs and cardio. Let's see, today we are also including hamstrings in our finishers. Give you a little preview. Eight seconds. Three, two, rest. Now you might need, put your weights down, you might need your mat if you wanna do push-ups on your knees. I'm gonna do them on my toes. So we have a slide push-up into a pike. Both feet need to be on the slider. And then switch hands, switching sides, slide push-up. We're on, by the way, into a pike. <sighs> Once again, you can just do regular push-ups if you don't have sliders, or you can walk your feet in and walk them out. <sighs> Try not to let that booty sag down. I know mine just was. We have 22 more seconds to try. Next round, we will stay on one side. You won't have to keep changing hands. <laughs> I know you like that part because it's a little bit of a rest. Five, three, two, ah, rest. Wow, wow, wow. All right, first cardio we have. Keep your sliders close. First exercise, jacks. 
for a three to a star if you'd like, or just regular jacks or low impact. Next exercise, sliding climbers or regular if you don't wanna slide. We go in five, you ready? Four rounds, two, one. Here we go, jacks for three. Star. If you're jumping, get some air. Lots of power. Eight. Let's go. Three, two, rest. All right, you ready for a quad burner? Climbers, sliding climbers. Here we go, in three, two, let's slide it. Drive those knees into your chest. Come on. This is where I always joke that we could spray some cleaner down, go to all different places of the floor by the end of the workout. Floor is done. Three, two, rest. Did you feel your quads? You will, you will. Two jacks, two, one, here we go. Two jacks, one star. Getting more and more challenging as we go. 10 seconds. Four, two, rest. The job. Sliding, climbers. Here we go, time to feel the flames. Two, one, go for it. Come on, get those legs moving, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Drive those knees up further toward your chest. Six. Three, two, ah, rest. Woo, baby. That's a killer. One jack, one star, you know it, you know it. Two, one, let's go. Great, Alma. Arms all the way up. 10. Four. Three. Rest. How'd we do? A lot harder, right? <laughs> Getting harder and harder here. All right. Slide it. Two, one. Let's go. That 10 second transition, man. It really moves fast, doesn't it? You're doing it. You're killing it. Six. Tighten up those abs, go faster. Two, rest. Final set, all stars, you ready? 20 seconds of stars coming up in three, two. Let's go, let's fly. You are a star. You're so amazing, so fit. 10 seconds. Come on, you got this. Just a few more. Three, two, rest. Ah. Last 20 seconds of this set. Three, two, go, go. Come on, drive it. Let's get stronger together, right here, right now. Speed up those legs. Eight. Come on. Three, two, ah, rest. You made it. Round one complete. How do we feel? Like fire. You're so amazing. Grab some water. Walk it around. Catch your breath a little bit. Woo. All right. 25 seconds. Round two. Right side only, squat it down, knee lift. Squat it down, right side only. 13 seconds, pick up one weight, heavy weight. If you got it, heavy weight. You can use both weights if you like. Four, two, 
Already? Yes, let's go. This round will stay on the right and we'll also keep the lean for the last 20 seconds. I will show you. How was round one? Are we warmed up now? We're ready. Rounds two and three, you are experts. 10 seconds till we hold that lean. We will just keep our feet together. Four, three, two, one. Let's just lean it. Feet together. You can drop the weight if it's too much. Reach up and over, up and over. That's it. Seven. Three, two, rest. Yes. Grab that other weight. You only need one towel onto your right foot. Curtsy, right foot only to bicep curl. Three, two, let's go bring it back. Remember, pressure into your front foot. Really dig it down there as you come up. That back foot is barely there. We will pulse the curtsy and we'll try to keep our hands halfway on bicep if possible. This is happening in 12 seconds. You're doing it. Five, three, two. Pulse that curtsy, try to keep your hands halfway. Try to keep your foot on the towel. Try to. I know it's sliding around. That's even more pressure on that glute. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Rest. Woo! All right, now we need both towels. Both towels. Same as last round. Two squat slides, two tricep kickbacks. In three, two, let's go. Remember, press that foot into the floor as you bring it up. This round, we will hold the slides for the last 20 seconds. Or the squats. You can just hold a squat pulse if you'd like. You're doing it, Mickey. 10 more seconds till we hold those squats. Three, two, squat it side to side. Really dig that foot in, into the floor. Press down as you come up. Yes. Your inner thighs might be feeling it tomorrow. Three, two, rest. Woo. All right. One weight, uh, one glider, two weights. Right foot back, re reverse lunge to reverse fly with your leg up if you'd like. Two, one, here we go. Oh. Great. We will hold that leg up and hold the reverse flies. Last 20 seconds if you'd like, or you can keep that leg down and just do the reverse flies. Way to push yourself. Six. Three, two. Hold that leg up if you can. Reverse fly. Let's go. <laughs> focus, focus. I know, I know. It's hard. Six. Three. Two. Rest. Oh, man, that is hard on your balancing skills. All right, push-ups. Only one side only, right hand is moving, that's it. 
and then feet are moving if you want to do the pike. Two, one, let's go. Side push up, one and one. The pike is working your abs, in case you weren't sure. Obviously, we're still working our shoulders on the pike and our chest, but just bringing a little more action into our abs. Push-ups in general actually work your abs a lot more than I think people realize. Especially you notice it when you do an ab set and then go right into push-ups. You're like, man, my abs are on fire. And that's because you're working them again in that push-up. 15 seconds. Come on, keep it going. Five. Three, two, rest it. All right, you ready for Tabata number two? Already, we're there. All right, you can keep your uh, towels to guide you. You don't need them. I'm just gonna do two hurdle jumps over the towels. That's number one. Number two, be careful of the towels. Lateral lunge with a hop. You can grab a weight if you want more. Four. Three, two, let's go, jump it. The goal is to try to get your knees up. Think about your knees coming up. Yes. 10 seconds. Come on. Knees, knees. Four, two, rest. Lateral lunge hops. I'm gonna move my towels. Be careful that you don't slip. Two, one, let's go. You can grab a weight if you want more. Maybe I will next round. 10 seconds, keep that chest up. Good, MJ. Three, two, rest it. Whew. Hurdle jumps, hurdle jumps. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Knees, knees. Come on, you gotta get over that hurdle, that wall. 10. You can walk these as well. Five, three, two, rest. Forgot to tell you, walking over, perfectly good. Just still get those knees up. Three, two, here we go, I promise the weight. Let's go. Whew. Chest is up, push that booty back, pushing off that outside leg. Eight, let's go. Three, two, rest. Wow, that weight did add a lot of a lot of challenge. Two, one, hurdle it. Come on, can you move a little faster? Right, Kirby? 12. Go for it. Seven. Three, two, rest. Man, getting those knees up, it's a killer. Lunge jumps, two, one, side to side, go. You're looking so energetic. Eight, push it. Three, two, rest. Last set, last set. This is where you challenge yourself. Push yourself to the max. Two, one, let's go. Be careful not to slip. <laughs> knees up, knees up. 10. Come on. Four. Two. Ah, rest. Way to go. Way to go. 
I'm gonna go no weight. Three, two, side to side, go. Come on, can you drop a little lower, especially if you have no weight? Way down there. 10 seconds. Four, two, rest. Wow, how did we do? You're like this, can't speak, I know. That was a lot. You are a maniac in such a good way. Crushing this workout, we're getting through it. Round three, coming up. Can you believe it, already? You're so amazing. 20 seconds, one weight. Squat to knee lift, once again. On the left this time. Pick up that weight, eight seconds to go. Let's start it on time. We ready? You are so ready. Two, one. Let's go, bring it down. All right, now we enter in to beast mode. <laughs> you are a warrior, round three warrior. Now you've made it this far, you will make it to the end. <sighs> 10 more seconds till we hold the leans. <sighs> Look at those muscles. Two. One, hold those leans. So I mentioned recently about filming yourself doing exercises, watching them back. Five, three, two, rest. Get that other weight, get one towel onto your left foot. Curtsy to bicep. Three, two, let's go, let's go. I myself have learned how to correct my form so much just by watching myself back. So if you haven't tried it, I would highly suggest it once in a while. Set up your camera, your phone, just record. Do one or two exercises, watch them back. Do them to the best of your ability, then watch them back. See if you can find anything wrong. Tell me what you find. Five seconds. Three, two, hold it down, pulse it, pulse it. It's surprising what you can find. You're like, what? That doesn't look right. Eight. Come on, big pulse. Four, three, two, rest. Oh, killer. All right, triceps with the slides. This round focusing more on triceps. Rack those weights up. Three, two, here we go, squat it. Try to take the swing out. Pushing into the floor, pushing. Right, Ellie? Sweat just pouring now. Elbows high on the triceps, bringing your hands back to meet your elbows. Back up to the top. Five seconds holding the triceps in three, two, Hold those triceps, hold those kickbacks. Stopping at your hips. Almost like a tricep pulse, a little bit. 10. Five, come on, push it. Three, two, rest, yes. Get rid of one towel, keep both weights. Left lunge back two, reverse fly. Are we ready? Three, two, 
Last chance for these, let's go. Try to get that knee down close to the floor without hopefully banging it. I don't want to hear about any bruised knees. You're like, she told me to get down. <laughs> so I went down, banged my knee. No, no, no. Once again, putting more pressure in that front foot on the way up. Thinking about your glute working. Five seconds, we hold it up. Three, two, hold it up. Hold those reverse flies. Great work. Way to focus, team. Seven. Two, one, rest it, yes. Push-up, set your weights down. Left hand only is moving. Both feet on the towel if you're piking. Here we go, three, two, slide it out, push-up. All right, what can we talk about here? <sighs> Movies, we watched the latest Roadhouse movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. I told my husband not to be jealous <laughs> because if you see him in the movie, he's so ripped. And I told my husband, trust me, you don't want to look like that because what it takes to look like that is no fun. Nobody wants to eat chicken and broccoli every day, right? You work out like crazy. We like to work out, we like to be ripped here, but you know, we wanna enjoy life too. We wanna treat ourselves. Six, four, three, two, rest. I did definitely admire his physique in that movie though. Wasn't the best movie though. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we need our towels for the first exercise. Plank jacks. You can do these without towels. You can um, jump them. You can tap them. 10 seconds till we go. Fast feet to tuck jump is next. Here we go, bring it down. In three, two, plank jacks, let's go. It helps to tighten up your core. Really think about your abs tight and move those feet out in, out in, out in. Fast, fast, fast. You will work those abductors those outer thigh areas. Three, two, rest. Whew, I feel it, I feel it. All right, fast feet to tuck jump. In three, two, let's go fast feet. Bring those knees up. We had a lot of practice with those hurdle jumps. We know how to bring those knees up. Yes, you can do low impact just by bringing the knees up. Just by bringing the knees up. Seven. Rest. This mic is in a weird place today. I hope, hope it's not muffling the sound. Two, one, jacket. Let's go. Tighten up that core. Move those feet out in, out in, out in, out in, out in. More of a strength cardio here. Six, oh, three, two, Man, it just absolutely burns right here. Anybody else? Fast feet, tuck jumps, two, one, let's go. Up. Let's go, Zach. Up. 10 seconds. Come on, jump. Five, three, Rest. Next round, maybe we'll pump it up a bit. Bring it down, three, two, jacket, let's go. Woo, those stabilizers, those hips, they are fired up. Eight, 
four, two, rest. Those are just so tough for me. All right, fast feet for two, tuck, two, one, more tucks, let's go. Fast feet, tuck, fast feet, tuck, fast feet, tuck. You got it? Stay with me. Keep the pace. Eight seconds. Three, two, rest. Last set. Last set. Can you believe it? Three, two, go, go. Make it your best. Can you move those feet a little faster now? Yes, you got it. You did it. Go for it. Five. Three, two, rest. If any of you stopped when I said you did it, that's my fault. <laughs> now you did it. Two, one, fast feet, tuck. Fast feet, tuck. Fast feet, tuck. Let's go. Get some air. Looking amazing. Four. Two. Rest. Oh. Wow. How do we do? We have completed three rounds. Can you believe it? You are so incredible. You deserve some water. Grab it. All right, finishers, starting with cardio, burpees. You know them, you love them, or you hate them. You can walk out the burpees, you can jump out the burpees, you can add a push up, you can add a tuck jump, 10 seconds till we go. Your decision, you can do a mix of all, all of those. One minute on, three, two, you wanna count them? Count them, let's go. I'm not gonna count mine. You can tell me how many you get. And I will tell you if I can. If you check my community tab, I recently put out a poll that said, would you rather do 50 burpees or 100 push-ups? Which is it? 50 of these or 100 push-ups? I can tell you both are extreme. You are halfway, let's go. If you counted for the first half, try to get more in the second half. Same or more. 18. Almost there. Go for it. Push, push. Eight seconds. So close. Three, two, rest. You did it. Oh, you are so amazing. I'm gonna grab my mat and get it ready because we will need it for hamstrings. Woo. Abs and hamstrings coming up. So, one towel. One weight if you'd like, let me show you. Let me show you. I like to put the weight down. We go in nine seconds, right leg only. Ab circles around your weight. Three, two, here we go. You don't have to use the weight. And try not to bring your booty up too high. Your booty's gonna come up a little as you circle. Try to keep it somewhat low. The weight is what keeps you honest. <laughs> it keeps you doing those big circles, especially as you come up toward your chest. Very challenging. Oh. Great work, keep circling, keep going. Mm. Eight seconds. Few more, all the way. Three, two, rest. 
All right, hamstrings are next. You will need both towels. You will need a mat to lay down maybe. Booty to the edge of your mat. Heels on your towels. Heels on your towels. Hips are up. Run your legs out. Let's go. Run those legs out. Try to relax your face. Keep those hips up. Only your heels are on the towels. After maybe 15 seconds, you should feel those hamstrings really working. And we only have one round of these, unfortunately. You can always do a little more after class to get that real burn on. But we already did some hamstrings today. So I think that we've, we've completed. <laughs> 10 seconds. And if you lose your glider, no big deal. Five, three, two, rest. Oh, way to go. We've got that other side, other side. Ab circles, left foot. Get that weight if you'd like. Keeping yourself honest. Two, one, let's go. So I do talk about this from time to time, but I might as well bring it up again. Because when I lost my towel there on the hamstrings, it just, it's funny how you have like PTSD or something. Because I used to work at this gym and teach class there. And I mean, I'd say, I guess most of the people were nice, but a lot of them weren't, a lot of them were not. And I just remember making mistakes. 15 seconds, like losing my glider or losing my medicine ball in the middle of a workout or something. And I would just get these looks from people. Five, three, two, rest. Final exercise team. All right, no weights, tuck-ins. I'm gonna use both my towels. You can just use one if you want. Both feet on your towels, tucking your knees in. Oops, there we go. Knees in and out, here we go. Yeah, so if you ever find yourself in a situation where people just aren't treating you nicely or they're acting like when you make a mistake, like they've never made a mistake before and they're perfect or something, try to get yourself out of that situation. I, I totally understand if it's work and obviously you need the job, but it's just not healthy. You wanna put yourself around people who support you no matter what. When you make your mistakes, they say that's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Seven. Four, we're almost there. Two. Rest. Oh, that burned my abs and my quads. You ready to cool it down, stretch it out with me? I know I am. Let's go into a deep squat right here. See if you can keep your heels on the ground and just shifting back and forth while we stretch out our wrists. We made it. You must feel so good. I know I do. That was tough as always. I am a sweaty mess, just soaking wet. Maybe roll out your wrists. Whenever you do gliders, sometimes it's hard on your wrists. Let's go into a lunge, right leg forward, left leg back. Sorry that I'm twisting to the back wall, but twisting up and down. Oh, my quads are on fire. Whew. Yeah, often with sliders, we do a lot of exercises on the floor, which can be hard on your wrists. So it's good to stretch them out before and after, which we should have done before. Straighten up your leg, get that hamstring. And if you want, you can kind of turn your back foot to put it on the ground and opening up and down if you feel comfortable. If you feel like you're not gonna fall, opening up to like kind of like a triangle in yoga. So let's square off our hips to the center again and hold this hamstring stretch. Let's see what's next. 
Ah, kneeling quad. I'm gonna need my mat for this. Onto your right knee, onto your right knee, <laughs> and reach back. You can stand up and get your quad too, especially if you tend to get hamstring cramps doing this like I do. <sighs> oh, my quad is so tight lately. Ooh, what about you, Zach? Oh, so tight. Great, just sit yourself down, either on your mat or the floor, and just rotate side to side and reach it out, rotating your hips. Good. So what do we have coming up? Let's see, we have April coming up. Wow, I can't believe it. How is time flying so fast? Left leg forward into that lunge, twisting up and down if you'd like. We are in the midst of a new book club. It's still not too late to join. The link is in my home page where it says my name and then under it says like, I don't know, 10 links under. You can find it right there. You can find a lot of links there for things. Let's straighten up, get that hamstring. Square off those hips at first. And then if you want, you can turn your back foot, putting it on the floor and reaching up and down into that triangle. <sighs> Opening up. <sighs> Last one. Let's square off our hips one more time and get that stretch. <sighs> Great work. All right, come on to your left knee now, or you can stand up and get your quad. How do we feel? Remember to give this workout a thumbs up and remember to leave me a comment. Let me know, let's see, I asked a few questions during the workout, right now I can't remember any of them. As always, links are in my description for the outfit, for my Amazon store. Great work, team. Just bring that foot in, roll yourself on up, head comes up very last. We did it. <laughs> we made it. All right, what are you gonna do now? How are you going to channel this energy that you've just created? Are you gonna channel it into happiness? Spreading the happiness? Of course you are. Let's get out there and do just that. Have a great one. Make sure to get some water and hydrate and tell someone you love them. Have a great day. I'll see you for the next one. We did it.